Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint, and today I want to show you how you can take your setup from looking like this to this, with a few RGB lights and LED strips. And some of these lights even react to what's on your screen thanks to Gobi's three colour matching solutions. So we've got a few setups to look at, including the living room, work desk, and the gaming desk setup. But I will show you it all, including where each item is from and how to install it. Okay, let's start with the living room. So here's how it looks during the day, which is what I would often share with you in my videos. And here's what it looks like at night, and as you can see, it creates a whole different vibe with these lights. So the centerpiece of my setup is definitely the TV, and it's where I've installed the Gobi light strip to create this nice ambient glow. But this strip isn't like the others, and that's because the LEDs actively sync to what's on my screen, and it's pretty impressive. So this here is called the AI Sync Box, and Gobi actually launched one for PC earlier this year, but have since released a TV version as well. So it comes with a strip of LEDs that you simply unwind and stick to the back of your TV. It does come in two sizes, but I've got the large one here for my 77 inch TV. Fitting the corners has always been the worst part as they usually fold or crease. But fortunately, these have bendy corners, so it's a lot easier to install. Then we plug the LEDs and any HDMI devices into this HDMI box. We power it on and we're good to go. Now any device that you have plugged into this box, say a PS5 or an Apple TV, will send the image through the AI box, then onto the TV. This means the LEDs on the back can sync to the edge of the image and create this awesome RGB glow. As you can see, I've used this for both movies and gaming, and the result is just incredible. And not only does it sync to the image, but in the Govi app you can set it to react to the games that you're playing. So for example, if you're playing Apex or Warzone or any of these 8 games, it will dynamically change the colours depending on what's happening. So when you call in an airstrike or a mortar strike in Warzone, it shows this effect. And the same goes if you've got a UAV or a loadout incoming, the LEDs actually react to what's happening. And what's great is it's constantly being updated to support more games. So these LEDs definitely do more than just replicate the image on screen, it actually reacts to it. But of course, if you'd rather, you can just set one of the preset themes in the app and create a static RGB vibe instead. So I've been using this for the last couple of weeks now, and I think it's great. But there is one limitation of the AI box that's definitely worth mentioning, and that's the fact that it's HDMI 2.0 instead of 2.1. This does mean you will not get the full 4K 120Hz pass-through, so any games or consoles that you might normally use with that won't work. However, if you're playing at 1440p and 120, or 4K at 60, you will be absolutely fine. Also, VRR doesn't work, but HDR is fine. But there is another option, something that I've used for the last few months, and that's the Backlight T2 kit. So this kit also comes with a strip of LEDs that you stick to the back of your TV, but instead of using an HDMI box, it uses a camera that you put on top of your TV. This then captures the image on screen without needing to use an HDMI input. There are pros and cons to this, which kind of comes down to which one you prefer. For me, the pro of the T2 kit is it doesn't restrict the HDMI input, so my TV gets a full 4K and 120Hz while gaming, and I can use it to watch apps on the TV as it works with whatever is being displayed. But the single downside is you will have a camera on show. I mean, it's pretty nice looking and it works well, but it's not as clean as using the HDMI box. Either way, the results from both of these TV options are really impressive and completely transforms the gaming or the movie experience. As for the other lights in my room, well, over here I'm using the Govi RGB ICWW corner lamp. In fact, I actually have two of these in the room. The other one is opposite the TV near the sofa. And as far as lamps go, these are crazy bright, maxing out at 1500 lumens, and are fully customizable in the Govi app. And what's great about these is if you wanted to place them either side of your TV, you can sync them to what's happening on screen, so the light stage at the front would be massive. Then on the other side of my room, I have an IKEA lamp, and that has a LifeX bulb in. Now I could swap this whole lamp out for an RGB one instead, but to be honest, I like the look of it. I will eventually change the bulb to a Govi one that syncs to the others, but right now they only make bulbs in the B22 fitment, whereas the lamp that I'm using uses an E27. And behind that I have the Govi Glide, and this lights up the corner behind the shelves. I usually have these set to a similar theme, and it's made up of just six pieces and can be wall mounted as well. I know a lot of people would typically have these installed above their desk setups, but I thought this is a perfect location right in the corner. And this is how the room looks like at night with all of those lights in action. It's amazing how lighting can make such a huge difference to a room. I mean, it can literally change the vibe and feel just by adding a few colours. And what I like about these lights is during the day, or when I want it looking a little bit more minimal, you can change the lights back to white. 
I also have them all linked to my Google Home app, so when I say lights on or off, they power on or off within a few seconds. I've also used the Govi app to create the scenes, so depending on whether you wanted a purple theme or a red theme or of course white, once you've set them up, it only takes a few seconds to swap between them. Okay, so next up is the gaming setup. So I actually did a tour of this setup about a month ago, but I didn't really talk about the RGB side of things. So here's how it looks during the day, and here's what it transforms into at night. So the first thing to show you are the lights on the wall. These are the Govi Y lights, and they come with seven panels that you can arrange and stick however you'd like on your wall. I've gone for this shape, and I've actually only used five of the seven panels, as I wanted to keep it minimal. But what's great is every panel can be customized to show different colors or themes, as well as adjusting the brightness. Then in the corner, I have another IKEA lamp with a LifeX bulb in. This is a single bulb, so it can obviously only be set to one color at a time. I often have it set to purple, pink, or green. Again, I will eventually swap this over to Govi once I release a bulb that fits. And the big one for me are the LEDs behind the monitor. Now, the LG monitor that I'm using does have an LED strip built in, but it's not really bright enough to light up the wall, so instead I've added some extra lights behind. So as I'm sure you're aware, there are loads of LED strips out there that you can buy, but the ones that I'm using are the Govi G1s. These are currently less than $50, which is a great price for a strip like this. And just like on the TV, these unwind and stick to the back of the monitor. Then it connects to this little box where you can power it on and control it. You can then change the colors in the app to create a theme or a style that suits the setup. And already this has made such a difference to the setup and it's so much brighter than not having them at all. But here's the cool thing about the G1s. If you're a PC or a laptop gamer, you can sync the image of your screen to the LEDs behind it in exactly the same way as the camera or the HDMI kits, but just using a piece of software instead. All you need to do is download the Govi desktop app, link it to the strip and enable the dream view mode. Now everything that's displayed on your screen will actually show up on the LEDs behind. And to say this is using Wi-Fi, it's surprisingly quick at matching the colors. This means you don't need to plug it into your PC or use a camera. You just need to use the Govi app while it's running in the background. And as it works with whatever is being displayed on the screen, you can use it with gaming as well as movies. And over here on my shelves, I'm using the neon rope lights. Now these are designed for desks, but I've actually stuck them to the back of my shelves to create a bit of a glow around the room. And what I like about these LEDs over normal LED strips is the fact that the light can be diffused because of that outer casing. Now this strip was three meters long, but what's great is you can actually cut the strip to fit your own setup. And here's what the entire gaming setup looks like once all of the lights are on. I think it's a pretty chill vibe, and it's definitely a nice place to be while you're gaming at night. And finally, we have the work desk setup. Now I didn't want to go over the top here as I do actually work from this every single day. So again, I've tried to keep it minimal and I actually only have three different lights on here to create this look. Although this desk is opposite my gaming desk so some of those lighting will probably impact this as well. So the first is the corner lamp which is the RGB ICW and this is one of the cleanest lamps I've ever used. It's similar to the two that I have in the living room but it's got a more minimal design with a flat base. Now when it's off it's got this nice simple yet clean look, but when it's on, again it creates this nice glow which can be fully customised in the Govi app. This one comes with 14 segments that you can control the brightness levels and the colour, as well as either syncing it to music, choosing a pre-made scene or making one yourself. I think it adds a really nice glow to the corner of the room, and because of how it's positioned, you never actually see the LEDs. And then behind my monitor I'm using an LED strip called the M1. It doesn't sync to what's on my screen and it doesn't have any kind of fancy HDMI box. It simply sticks to the back and can be controlled via the app. And for me, this is the best way to create that nice ambient glow behind your monitor. And it definitely helps with fatigue as well as eye strain. Then finally, there's this little LED light on the top of my monitor. And this is a BenQ light bar. It's not RGB, so it doesn't change color, but it adds some nice clean light into my desk. And it can also be controlled via this wheel on the side. This lets me change the color temperature as well as the brightness. I think it's important to keep the work area as clean as possible, so you don't really want the RGB vibe to interfere with where you're working. And this is what the entire setup looks like at night, again just with three simple lights. So those are all of the lights I'm currently using in my three setups. Most are from Govi and that's no coincidence. I've used LifeX, Philips Hue and a few others before, but over the last few months I've gradually moved all of my lights over to Govi, and that's because they are constantly updating their app and adding new lights. In fact, Govi have built probably the most comprehensive colour matching solution out there for gamers, especially when you include their HDMI, camera and software options. So let me know if you would or you have already added RGB to your rooms, and drop our RGB gaming in the comments and I'll give you a thumbs up for staying right to the end. And if you did enjoy today's video, check out my PlayStation unboxing video next, as it covers 8 rare consoles I recently unboxed on the channel.
Thanks for watching. Please like, sub, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.